Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my toothbrush and start brushing my lips. And I really like to do this because this is going to make your lips really soft and smooth and get rid of any excess skin so that you don't have chapped lips when you're wearing your lip products. And then this is also going to bring blood flow to your lips and this is going to help make them plumper. So this is a really, really good step, especially if you want to make your lips look a lot bigger. Find a small container around the house. If you want to really plump your lips, this is an amazing step. I'm gonna place this around my mouth and then create a vacuum suction with my lips and it basically kind of supports the cup on my mouth. I'm going to hold this for about 10 seconds and then repeat two or three more times. You could get really crazy with this and you can really plump your lips up, but I just wanna get a little more blood flow and plump them a little bit, but it's all up to you depending on what you're going for. So I'm going to start making this little DIY lip plumper and this is really basic. All I'm using for this is cinnamon and my lip conditioner this is a lip balm treatment like lip conditioning uh, tube from Mac and you could use any kind of lip balm or Vaseline or anything that you like to make your lips conditioned and mix that up with a little bit of cinnamon this is going to tingle and it's going to not sting but it definitely does really feel very plumping and minty on your lips and this is going to help your lips plump a little bit more so once I've applied that I'm gonna keep it there for about a minute or two you could leave it on for way longer to depending on how plump you want your lips. And then I'm gonna wipe it all off with a makeup remover. So now that my lips are prepped and they are nice and full, I'm going to start applying some product. This is lip liner from NYX and you can find this at the drugstore. It's in the color natural and I love it. When you're using a lip liner, you wanna make sure that it's really sharp so that you get a precise line. So let's sharpen it up and get started on the lips. So to stabilize my hand while I do this lip liner, I'm going to rest my pinky and my ring finger on my chin and this really helps to stabilize my hand so that I don't shake around and do any weird lines. Now if you want to plump your lips up with your lip liner, overdraw on your cupid's bow. So just draw a little bit above your natural lip line. Make sure that you bring the lip liner down to the natural corners of your mouth so do not overdraw on the sides of your mouth because if you make any kind of expression, it's going to look very obvious that you drew lip liner over your skin. So the same thing goes for your bottom lip. If you want to make it look fuller, just overdraw a little bit in the center and then bring the corners up to your natural lip line for a really full pouty look. I'm gonna take the lip liner and fill in the rest of my lips and then I'm gonna apply this nude soft matte lip cream. This is by NYX also and it's in the color London. I'm gonna apply that and then let it dry. When I'm letting that dry and turn to a matte finish, I'm gonna take some bronzer and create a shadow effect. I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. You could use any matte brown bronzer. And then just place this underneath your lip and make sure that you blend it so that it looks nice and natural. It just creates the effect that your bottom lip is pouting over your skin and creating a really full shadow. I'm taking my lipstick and I'm layering this all over my lips. I'm putting this everywhere that I put the lip liner and then of course filling in my lips with it. This is the color Sable by NYX and it's just completely matte. And then I'm going to finish off the lips with a lip gloss and this is a very important step. If you want your lips to look really, really full, make sure that you put this in the center and all over where you put your lip liner. It reflects the light and it makes everything kind of look really natural and it just pulls the whole look together. So that's the completed lip look. Here's the before and after. You can see they're really full and plump after you've done all of these steps. It's a really great idea for photos or for special events. I really hope you guys learned something new and give this a try. Let me know in the comments below if you ever overline your lips and if you like to do it. I'd love to know your opinion because some people like it and some people don't. And also check out my how to paint your nails perfectly video. I uploaded that last Monday and you guys are loving it. I really hope that you guys enjoy that video. You can check it out by clicking the link on the screen. I love you guys. Bye!